If Jesus doesn't say I am God, he's therefore not God. That would suggest that if Jesus did say I am God, that would make him God. But that is also wrong. Let's assume that Jesus said I am God. Does that statement make him God? I could say I'm Mike Tyson, I could say I'm Michael Jackson. Yes. Satan said to Jesus, jump off, and you can jump off because the scripture gives you, Satan is saying the scripture is giving you authority to jump off, so do it. That's why he called it, and that's what Muslims do. You know, Jesus said I'm, I can only do what the Father said, therefore he's not God. That's the point they're making. Right. But if you read the psalm in context, it doesn't mean go and jump off a building, no. that the angels will come and save you. Yes. And this is why we say, when Allah says in Quran 354 and Quran 830, yes. Allah is the greatest of all deceivers, yes. Hudson, Hudson, violence, do you think, do you think Hudson, gonna, drugs. Do you think we're going to solve Hudson, them? Massive Hudson, epidemics Hudson, all over the world, and you want to talk about shit that happened when you weren't born. You Hudson, you're a madman. The reason why Muslims like to operate this way is because if you act like a clown, yeah, and you act intelligent and like a moron, you don't have to answer intelligent questions. Yes. It's not an accident. Yes. It's deliberate. It's to look at a couple of things. Um, firstly, um, certain tactics, for example, or methods or, um, yeah, that are used um, in Speaker's Corner um, when it, in regards to um, Muslim-Christian dialogue. Uh, context is one of the first ones that come to mind. Um, in lots of my um, um, discussions, I try to emphasize on the need of context, because that's important. That is to say, not to just open the Bible and use it like a dictionary. Yes. So you grab something and say, Jesus said, um, I cannot do anything except the Father says to make it sound as though, you know, Jesus had no authority other than that above a prophet. And to be clear, Jesus did say that, but um, context is important in there as well as anything else. Because, and by context, I mean the surrounding verses. What was said before that? What does the scriptures verses say before that particular verse? And what does the scriptures say after that particular verse? That's what I mean by context. So, that's, and and context also had different layers. There is immediate context, as in what the immediate surrounding verses are before and after. And there's um, okay more distant context, more general context. Can I just interrupt you? Bob? Sure. Now you saying about the context yeah. of how the scriptures should be related and the information presented. So let, why don't we try and give the audience an example yes. from the book of Matthew, yes. how this context and what the Dawah teams actually yes. do and they misinterpret the context. But we have an example in the Bible done way before Islam was convicted and unfortunately the person that done this was what we call Amaka, the great deceiver, yeah. who is one of the 99 names of Allah. Uh, go ahead, right. brother. Okay, I'll read from St. Matthew, um, chapter 4, and I'll read it from the beginning, because this is a perfect example of context. I could say I'll jump straight down to where Jesus speaks in verse 7, so I could do it like this. This is the perfect example. I could go to St. Matthew, I can jump straight down to verse 7, and say, Jesus said unto him, it is written again, thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. And you can maybe get from that that God can be tempted. Yes. For example, in media. Also, God can be tempted, because Muslims do this all the time. Just by that, they said, oh, God is suggesting or it's saying that God can be tempted. So what you do is you start from the very beginning. So we go up seven verses prior, St. Matthew 4, from verse 1. It says, Then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterwards hungry. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. And that's Jesus quoting Deuteronomy. So Jesus is quoting scripture. Then the devil takes him up into the holy city and sat him on a pinnacle in the temple and said unto him if thou be the son of god cast thyself down for it is written he shall give his angel charge concerning thee and in their hands they shall bear thee up lest at any time you cast your foot against a stone and then this is the verse that i began with just began with in response to that jesus said unto him it is written again thou shalt not tempt the lord thy god so immediately here we have context so here comes satan doing what muslims do all the time quoting some scripture that seems to be supporting what he wants Jesus to do at a particular time. So he's tempting No, go on. No, so he's tempting Jesus, urging him. So he jumps in, no context. So this is Satan now. Yes, yeah, that Satan. evil one. The evil you know, one. The Amaka. Dragon, you know. The deceiver. Yes. One of the ninety nine names of Allah, the deceiver. Yeah, so we see you're Satan lying, lying. doing the deception and the Muslim is disagreeing. But Amaka is the name of, of Allah. So now 
where does the where does Satan get the script from? Yeah. We have to turn to Psalm 91, yes. which is a protection prayer for Christians. Yes. And we go down, I'll start from verse 7. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine hand shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation. Therefore shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest they dash thy foot against the stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and dragon shalt thou trample under feet. So in the context of Psalm 91, mm. it doesn't mean go and jump off the story of a building and kill yourself mm. because God is going to save you with an angel. It's saying that if you go through calamities, difficulties, hardships, if you put your faith in the Lord, the Lord will save you from it. So this is Satan deceiving the Bible, using the narrative. So now we've got to ask our Muslim brothers, why are you using the same narrative? But we know this because Allah says he's our Makkah. The deceiver. So we have seen from Psalm 91, according to Matthew chapter 4, that the God of the Quran and his Dawah teams are actually misinterpreting the Bible to ensure that they can distort the meaning and definitions of what our religion actually says. And this is why we have to uh, confront our Muslim brothers, because they're perverting the gospel so that the message of salvation does not go out. And there's a reason for this, because if we turn I'll quote the Quran before we go back yes, to the sure. biblical narrative. And in Quran chapter 3 verse 54 and Quran chapter 8 verse 30, it says Allah is the greatest of all deceivers. And now we have shown the narrative in Matthew that, you know, Satan tried to tempt Jesus and he even perverted the gospel to try and convince the Son of God that he was in the wrong path. So now Hudson is going to explain to us where do these Muslims get their Dawah yeah. intelligence from? Yeah. That they come here and totally misquote the Bible, mm. totally misrepresent our scripture, yes. totally misrepresent everything that is in, do, in accordance to knowing the truth. And we have to discuss this important point because if this is not understood by the general public, we lose the chance of people coming into the salvation of our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm. Right, sure. Can I just say, yeah, sure. have we... Have we, have we uh, no, of course, we also haven't misinterpreted our scripture. It's Christian, so though. as Christians, so we must be very, I would say, better education. Of course, good education. No, for absolutely. Everyone. No, absolutely. And I will talk about honesty. Is important. The truth. The truth is, and this is where good Christianity. I, I like what this brother said. This is where Christianity differs from Islam. Mm. Deception is not part of our game. Mm. We are told. Yeah. Thou shalt not bear false witness, which is in Exodus chapter 20, I think verse 17 or 15, one of the two verses. So we don't bear false witness. We have to speak the truth and knowledge, acknowledge what we do know. But what we have made mistakes and we are yes. at fault. And we can deal with that. Right? No, no, we'll touch so on we that. must we make sure that we're not throwing, casting the stone no, no. at our brothers no, for doing no, what we do. No, I'm going to do that. No, I'm we're not going to do that. Right. No, I'm going to do with that right now. That's fine. I'm gonna, if so, you be with us, I'm going to do with so that right now. now I'm going to give a chance to Hudson to explain. We're going to talk about where these Muslim Dawah teams get their audience from, where they get their rhetoric and the material, where the questions where God went to toilet, he is not God. Um, Mm -hmm. Where did Jesus say, worship me? Mm -hmm. And all those kind of theatrics that we see people like Lamin and yeah. Ali Dawa yeah. and the other uh, uh, um, Hollywood actors yeah. in this place. Well now, this is where Hudson will give us some insights and understanding for the research. Please go ahead. Right, thank you. Firstly, I want to make very clear, very, very clear that in taking this approach, this is not an attack on Muslims. Yes. Okay, yeah, no, I'm not and it's not, no, that's fine. It's, no, I was going to do this anyway, so it's appropriate yes. that you said what you were saying, because you, you were a bit ahead of me. To, to, to be very clear, it's not an attack on Muslims, it's not an attack on individuals. As Christians, we have a duty to preach the gospel scripturally. It's not an attack in identifying falsehood, 
in identifying the errors in the Quran, be they um, direct or indirect, be they intentional or unintentional, the response to that is our duties as Christians. As born again believers, it's our duties you mean, to identify where there's forces, be it from outside the faith or inside the faith, as my brother said. But at this particular time, we want to identify what's taking place here in Speaker's Corner, hopefully, so that people can get a bigger picture. First of all, I want to just jump back to Matthew 4, firstly, and from there I'll spring into some other sources. Because this is, you know, uh, point on point. Because what happened is Satan turns up, yeah? He knows what let's see what we can understand is that Satan knows what the scripture is. He knows the scripture. Satan knows the scripture. Remember this remember the desert wall is meant to is land. Yeah. Right? So you have to know the seasonal relationship. When you are going to be brought through into your relationship with that journey, you are preparing the way to it now, preceding it right now. So set set it clear. You yes. put Satan behind you, you say what is important yeah. what Brother Peter has yeah. done has brought the Christian mm. message and the understanding of the mm. journeys we will take as individuals mm. to Christ. But there's also another sinister plan, yes, which are. we have uh, explained from Quran 354 and Quran 830, where Allah is the greatest of all deceivers. Mm. And Hudson has brought out in Matthew chapter 4 that Satan is a deceiver. And now he's going to go into more in depth information. So I'm trying to say, you see the scripture, remember that the scripture tells us that we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. So, he, so let's be clear, Satan's approach to Jesus was not innocent. He knew what he was quoting. We can understand this when we get to understand how Satan works. Oh, yes. He knew what he knew he was quoting out of context. He deliberately quoted out of context. This was no mishap. Yes. It was deliberate. Yes. You know, he knew that he didn't read all that scripture. He knows what all the scripture. He knew that he took a bit out. He knew that he used the Bible like a dictionary. Right. He's aware of this. And how do we know that? Because scripture tells us he's wily. He doesn't do anything by accident. None of Satan's attacks are antidental or out of ignorance. They're direct, specific, targeted attack against people of faith. So I'm saying that to say when he came to Jesus, this was deliberate. I'm going to grab a scripture, I'm going to use the Bible like a dictionary against the Son of God and try and commit, get him to commit suicide. This is what he was doing. No, you know, to commit Satan. No. It's Satan. To Satan. Yeah. Yeah, but misquoted we didn't have Psalm 91. No, one oh, you're, oh you're, see, are you're saying that yes. he misquoted Psalm, Psalm 91. 91. Yes. No, I'm, say, I'm he saying he had the time. Well, no, well, you mean the wisdom, the Jewish Jews well, if you read time. Psalm 91, it says that the your if you go near the stone. No, let's be specific. Let's be very specific in your scripture. Because remember, the Bible was put together after. But no, no, saying, yeah, yeah. But you're, you're straining. You're, 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 you're straining a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're straining a bit. I understand you. That, that, that term, you're, you're talking about exegesis. That's fine. We can do that's what happens. You're, you, you're, you're talking about exegesis. What you're going into is exegesis and hermeneutics, as in, you know, what things meant at the time of the culture. Uh, no, that's no, a different no. subject, which I love. No, but it's no. a different subject. We can do that. We can do exegesis and, and hermeneutics. No, but, no, right no. Now, but, but right now, I'm looking at scripture and I'm saying, look, it's very clear. And Satan, and he said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down. He's telling, oh, him, yes. to, he's telling him to commit suicide. What is he doing? He's telling he said yes, commit suicide. Course, true. Look, this is gravity. This is he's telling the Son of God he's to commit saying, suicide. Yes, yes, God. Yes, jump off this mountain. We know but, better. But what's the context of which he's doing it? He's saying you're and the Son the context, of God. You can do this. And the context yes. of that verse was Psalm 91, yes. verses 11 That's to 12. Right. Yeah. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up with their hands, lest thy dust thy foot against a stone. Right. But if you read the Psalm in context, mm. it doesn't mean go and jump off a building, no. that the angels will come and save you. Right. And this is what the Muslims yes. are doing. Yes. And this is why we say, when Allah says in Quran 354 and Quran 830, yes. Allah is the greatest of all deceivers. Yes. And now the Dawah are doing the deception of what Allah is doing by our scripture and what Satan has done in the scripture to try and mm. confuse yes. the Son yes. of God. So let me move on. Okay, let me carry on. So, 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 said, so I'll read this again. And he said unto him, is that to make my point? And then I'll go into the sources that you're talking about. And, and he said unto him, if thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down, for it is written. So Satan is using scripture. He's telling Jesus to commit suicide and trying to justify it with scripture. Jump off this building and this is why you can do it. Because it is written. That's what he's saying. He's saying jump off and this is why you can jump off because it is written. That's what he's saying. And Jesus you can, hold on one second. Yeah, because it is written. He shall give his angel charge concerning thee and in their hands they shall bear thee up. Let that, that's the, that's out Which of context. Which is Psalm 91 now, verse 12. Yeah, let me, that's out of context, completely out of context. And what I'm saying is Jesus deals with that directly. And that's what we need to do when people use the Bible as a dictionary. And I'll give you another example to make my point here. Jesus said that I can do nothing but what the Father does. Muslims will quote. 
to try to say that Jesus is not the Son of God or to try to say that Jesus is not God in flesh. Because Jesus is saying, I can only do what the Father tells me to. They use that very specific point out of context to say, look, Jesus is not God. He's just a prophet. You see how it, you see how it ties in with what's going on here? Satan said to Jesus, jump off and you can jump off because the scripture gives you, Satan is saying the scripture is giving you authority to jump off. So do it. That's why he called it. And that's what Muslims do. You know, Jesus said, I'm, I can only do what the Father said. Therefore, he's not God. That's the point they're making. Other people, the Father is greater than I. They make all these points, you know, that Jesus didn't know, you know, when Jesus said, I don't know, you know, when the second coming is, only the Father knows. They're doing exactly what's parallel in here. First of all, taking things out of context to fit a certain agenda. Whereas if you read the whole of those scriptures where Jesus said that, I can do nothing but the Father. First of all, that St. John is very important. This is why I kept stressing on this. Because every time you go through to St. John and try to prove from St. John that Jesus is not God, you're omitting the very start of that book. John is very clear. You, you can't use the same, you're almost trying to use the author against himself. When you try to take the words of John, who quoted Jesus as saying, I can do nothing. Wait. No, no, one second, one second. I can do nothing yeah, but one. No, I don't want to, I don't really want to debate right now. I just want to yes, get a point yes, yes, Yeah, yes. I don't want to debate right now. We can do that another time. I just, just want to make this point. We can do that another time okay. with all pleasure. What I'm yes. saying is, I, 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 I'm, I'm making a connection here. See the connection I'm making here with, right. what, with, right. yes. with what I just read. Yeah, yeah. right. So, but what I'm saying is, John starts off by saying, in the beginning was the word. Yes. and the word was with God and the word was God you can't then take the same words of John later on into the chapter and make the same author try to say something that contradicts what he said we're, de we're dealing with the same author well you can no you can't no, you do you can't. know why no you can't do you know why because you it know says why? okay uh, no, let because, it go away. because God is asking us to grow no 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 no. listen I'm telling you no no you're not dealing God with what is, I'm saying no, God no. is asking God will put paradoxes in there no. yes no, there'll no, be no. all sorts of things that will trouble no, no, you no no here what no, 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 understand. No, understand. No, 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 you're not understanding what I'm saying. You're, you're that's no, no, you're misunderstanding me. That's nice and airy fairy. Not but, airy but, fairy. But, <laughs> it is airy fairy. No, no, no. no. Mercy, no, mercy. No, no, Trust me on that. No, no, one second. Trust me. You're very mercy. You're not dealing with what I'm saying. You'll understand when you're talking about You're not dealing with what I'm saying. You're not dealing with what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, every time you go into John and try to quote and use where John, hear me very well. Every time you go into John and try to use where John quoted Jesus yes. to try to say that Jesus is not God, you're admitting that same author oh. what he said from the very beginning. The whole context, this is what I mean by context. John starts with saying, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God. The same author could not later, when he, if he's making it clear that Jesus is God, he can then he cannot then later on be putting words in Jesus' mouth to make Jesus be saying, I'm not so God. Where he would be contradicting that? himself. He would not only be contradicting John Jesus, chapter one. he would be contradicting himself. St. John 1.1, 1, 1, in yeah. the beginning was the word. Right, let's yeah, go. No, but you're saying... Are, are you aware of this? Are you aware of St. John 1.1? 1, 1? I wanna, I wanna... Are you aware of St. John 1? One. Tell me, show me. Are you aware? No. I'm quite open surprised. The, uh, open okay. your Bible to John right. 1. I'm quite surprised. First John. St. John 1.1. 1, 1. So this Gospel is... of John, not yeah. the um, Big John. epistle. Yeah. St. John 1.1. 1, 1. In the beginning was the Word, yeah. and the Word was with God, and the Word became God. But while you find that, I'll, make, I'll carry on making my yes. point. I'm so saying let, let's a, get on yeah. to the yeah. Yeah. There's or, a or Brother, just one, uh, yeah. Brother Peter. John Can we 1, just 1. Get, Yes, let's get into the, uh, yeah. the part of the Dawah, yeah. Brother no, Peter. No, this, no, we don't want to change this. This is very, very yeah. important. Yeah. This is we're not, we're track. going to no, go into that No, 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 you're actually taking us off track of what we're talking about. Our topic is about the Dawah team. We're nothing about John. No, one second, one second. Can I answer you? Let me answer you while you do this. I'm your... I'll ask you respectfully tell me. This is what I'm saying. Our, su our, our, subject, our subject here is about certain mechanisms and tactics that are used in Speaker's Corner. We want to get the message out to prepare Christians. I want to talk about apologetics and how Christians can be more effective. You know, it's not enough, I have to be honest, it's not enough to say that we've got the Holy Spirit you know, okay. and we're filled with the Spirit. It's not. Okay. Let me it's not enough to say we've got the Holy Spirit and we're filled with the Holy Spirit when Christians come here unprepared, yes. completely unprepared okay. for, certain, for, for certain attacks. You've got to understand how Speaker's Corner works. Yeah? Okay. And 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 see for me this is where the Holy Spirit comes in. You know, you've got to have a spirit of discernment. The as sun, well. Yes. You've got to know when a Muslim approaches you or whoever, not just a Muslim. See the reason why I'm saying Muslim Christian is because this is what Speaker's Corner is. Yeah, but not just they attacked the right. guy who got really upset. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, not yeah. just Muslims. So what I'm saying, what we're trying to do, yeah, we're, trying to, we're, we're, we're trying, trying to we're trying to yeah. prepare Christians who are those who are not, not those who are. If you're fine, good. I don't want to patronize anyone. But, but if, if you're not prepared, we're trying to prepare Christians who are not prepared. So, you, uh, so have to understand, brother Peter. So there, is, there is a kind yeah. of 
there is a kind of manual on how to go yes. against Christianity, yes. an Antichrist yes. manual yes. online, but where a lot of, oh, but we're trying to bring me. in sorry. this me, rhetoric sorry. and the knowledge <laughs> for, for the yeah. audience. Are you hearing us? Yes, I am. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I'm, saying, I'm saying, get behind me, Satan, and be clear, you know, what I'm seeding. Yeah. I say love, love and forgiveness. Correct. Yes, okay. correct. But correct. Th that's absolutely correct. correct. But I'm talking about apology. Okay. I'm talking about We're defending. Talking about no. I'm talking about defending the faith. We're students. No, no, no. Right? One second, my friend. You're going astray. Brother, brother, you're taking the debate off the topic. You're going astray. You're taking the debate. Yeah, you're taking. Yeah, you're, taking yeah, yeah, you're, taking yeah, you're really. We would have completed it by now. Okay, let me ask you a question now. See, this is where this is a perfect example where the spirit tries to control us. No, this is an example where you, my friend, listen to me for a while. Listen to me for a while. I'm with you. No, no, you're. You're being contrary. Now, no, no. Your, your spirit right now, hear me, your spirit right now should be in agreement with us. Yeah. But it's not. Yeah. It's not. Why? Why? It's not. Because right. we're trying to prepare Christians yeah, yeah. for the yeah. evangelist mission. But you're yeah. preventing let, us from let, giving let, the information. Yeah. Because let's you're not letting us yeah. talk about, you're taking our topic yeah. totally off. I'm sorry. Oh, that's, 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 that's what right. I'm trying to say. That's yeah. Right. Yeah. So yeah. please just hear us out yeah. for a moment. Yeah. Then it will make more sense. But it's important. It's better if you let us talk and then when you have any objections. Right, back to the point. So I made that point. I won't repeat that because it's on you know it's on record and people can always like play that back now i'll go immediately on to my next point now we, we want to talk about sources don't we yes we're now, going to now, talk now, about now, right, now one of the sources there are many sources but now one of the sources is a, a, a muslim can you author. sorry let yeah. me just stop you a moment sure. now let us refresh because yeah. we had some um, other discussions yeah. about christianity yeah. so like hudson said yeah. we're talking about christians that come here to do apologetics yeah and what it is is that um, the dawah teams here use an art of deception yeah. and they have a, a kind of source uh, arrangement for this art of deception yeah. so hudson will explain that yes. again yes. and i would like you to come in yes. and explain do. now I'll, be, I'll give a very specific example and it's a very specific one because i like to get to the point when muslims say um where did jesus say i'm god that didn't pop out the air yes. there, are, there are particular authors that are telling you to ask this direct question and one of the most famous ones is Ahmed Dida. There are many ones now. He's the most famous one. If you, unless you haven't read anything about Islam, you would have heard of this guy. Yes. Unless you haven't read any works of any authors, once yes. you go yes. delve into reading yes. about Muslim authors, you yes. would have undoubtedly... And Ahmed Dida yeah. launched a book called the Ahmed Dida Combat Kit. Yes. And that's where you say, where did Jesus go to the toilet? If you hear these yes. kind of simplistic... Yes. Retarded so these are questions. The words. So I want to make yes. that clear. It's Ahmed Didat. He's Ahmed the one Didat. that, you know, so the, this question is not coming out of the air. Where did Jesus say, I'm God? You know, and, 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 you know, and questions like, you know, when they go into the Old Testament and say that the sun, the sun is a worm. There's a, there's a scripture in Psalm that says the sun is a worm. Yeah, and, and Ahmed Didat uses that all the time to say, look, Jesus was just a what? He was just a man. He was just dirt. He was just dust. So what I'm saying is when, and Muslims read these books, the ones that want to learn how to attack Christians, they read this very specifically. What happened to do? I'll give you an example. He specifically says, next time you approach a Muslim, whether they come to your door, or you see them on the street, he's, he's seen on video saying this, I'm going to show you the manual how to approach them. Open your Bible, that's what he said to them, and show them that the scripture said that the son of man is a worm. So that Jesus is just a man, he's just a worm. You know, he says, show them that where Jesus said that I can do nothing but what the Father tells me to. He's saying this to them, ask the Christian this, say this to them in the arrogant manner that he does. You know, say them, t tell them to show you, show you clearly. This is how we're doing it. Tell the Christian to show you clearly where Jesus said he's God. And, and that's an error. That's an error already for a man that claims to be, an, uh, to, 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 to be an academic. A terrible error. And so that's what I'm saying. And so this is what, so in, uh, immediately already I can identify where Muslims are coming from. And I always quote the books back at them. One book is called The Combat Kit. So he tells them how to open the Bible. This is literally what he said to them. Open it. He doesn't say this is the guy that claims to be an academic. He doesn't say anything about context. He doesn't say read the context and understand what the Bible is saying as any seriously minded academic would do. He says, just open it and jump to the verse that you want. So he's encouraging them to read the Bible like a dictionary. Just jump to the verse that you want and use that verse and ask them what it means. So this is what Muslims do. Because the question, and I'll deal with this again as I've done before. Because the question about, um, is Jesus, um, did Jesus say I am God, is a very tricky question. I'm going to do this once again with all pleasure. I've done it before, for those who haven't heard it. I'm going to look at it. It's called the exact word criterion, where you have to... Where, the, where, where, you have to, where, where Jesus had to say, I am God in those words. Now let me break down why that's silly. First of all, that's English. 
So I can be pedantic and say, well, Jesus didn't say, I am God, in those three words, because he didn't speak English. I could deal with it that way, because seeing as you're being very specific in the English, almost ignoring that Jesus didn't say it in English. So therefore, if we acknowledge that Jesus didn't speak English, he couldn't have said, I am God. That's different. And furthermore, even if Jesus did say, I am, let's assume that Jesus spoke English and he did say, I am God. Would that make him God? I could say I'm God. <laughs> so there's two issues here. So there's the, 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 the exact word criterion that you're going to determine how somebody has to say something to understand that that's what they're saying. Hudson, so the, there's another part yeah. of uh, the Amadi that combat yeah. book you failed to mention, the misquotation of the scripture. And we see that with a lot of Taoist teams yeah. here. Yeah. They'll say, Jesus said, to your God or my God? Yes, or something right. like yeah, that. Yeah, that's that's right. a very yeah. theatrical yes. lamin. Uh, yes, yeah, he does very, that. Very well so basically he's saying that, that Jesus was saying God is his God, so therefore he's not God. Not God yeah, not that's God. right. Again, again, that's St. John 20, okay, after the resurrection where Jesus said, I go to your, my father and your father, to my God and God your, and your God. God. So once again, they're capturing the words of Jesus and saying that if Jesus speaks a certain way, therefore he cannot be saying he's God. So in other words, if Jesus doesn't say, let's look at a couple of stuff. If Jesus doesn't say, I am God, he's therefore not God. That would suggest that if Jesus did say, I am God, that would make him God. But that is also wrong. Let's assume that Jesus said, I am God. Does that statement make him God? I could say I'm Mike Tyson, I could say I'm Michael Jackson, I could say I'm the president. It doesn't make me that thing. <laughs> I mean, so, so that's how silly the argument is. So we, we got to show it for how silly it is from somebody who claims to be in an academic circle. That is very silly. You know, for the, you know when, when he encourages, you know, people less than him, he should actually be teaching them properly. When he encourages them and dissuades them from using context. No academic does this. Dissuade you from dissuade their students from using context by encouraging them directly to jump to a scripture out of context and don't say to your student, you know. And Hudson, can yeah, I mo sure. move it furthermore? Yeah, sure. And and this is what we have to understand about Islam. When Muhammad was actually confronted with a debate by the Christians, yeah, he he went up to the debate in a very very sinister way. He said, "Bring your family. I bring my cattle. You bring your yes. people. Yes. I curse your people." So this is the actual method of Islam, it's a sound bite. It's not about looking at rhetoric or understanding mm. the scripture. It's about sounding better than the other person. Winning an argument yes. by using a kind of narrative that sounds convincing. Yes. Without looking at the subject matter Absolutely. or looking at the theology yes. behind Absolutely. the subject matter. Absolutely. And this is something that we as Christians try to give an understanding. Why did Jesus say, I am God? Why didn't Jesus say, I am God worship me or say that I can do nothing without the Father? And by going through the scripture, we can look in 2 Philippians where Jesus being fully God lowered himself as the image of a servant mm. and there was a reason for this to show us a man of how to live our lifestyle that we should always obey the God the one true God mm. because a lot of people have got this misconception and you can do see it in the Trinity debates when a Muslim will come up with a question and say, you believe in three gods? Yes. There's three gods. Yes. But I tell him, I show my scripture says one. But he says, no, there's three. There's That's the right. Father, the Son. Yes. And, the, and I say, well, the, the Son is the Word of God. That's right. The Word of God comes from the bosom of the Lord. There is one God. He said, well, Jesus is at the right hand in heaven. Yes. No, no, the right hand of authority. That's it's right. a metaphor. It's right. not a separate God. It means Jesus is the right hand of authority yes. of the Lord. It is not three separate gods. But they will never yes. listen to the narrative yes. because it defeats the common that book argument, yes. which like, is a, verb, a verbal criterion. Yes. Sure you can. I, I don't want to be rude. No, 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 Because the, I know what you're saying, yeah. Amadi does, you know, things yeah. like that. Yeah. Maybe he had and you, as a Muslim, you should explanation. have a explanation. Yes. yes. And I actually don't use that here. Yeah, where Jesus said. Okay. But right. Muslims also see when they read the Gospels, there are other indications which tells us that Jesus cannot be God. Not when, really. Uh, yeah, because give us an example. For example, I mean John again, 17 verse 3, when he says, "And this is eternal life, that they know the only true God, okay. yes. and Jesus Christ, whom Thou hast sent." Okay. Yes. So can I ask you to read the next two verses, <laughs> and that will clarify. I, I can I can read, but yes. but why that verse did not, did no, not no, explain to you, you read the next that there's the only true God no, is God? Because why you're, you're, that you're, verse okay, well, you're proving my point, which yes. is very important. Read well, the next two verses. Read Saint John next. 17, 3. Read verse 4 and 5. Yeah, sure, I can. Yeah, sure. This is what I mean. This is a perfect example. This is a good that. example. This is what I mean by context. For this yeah. Because you can't stop when you think you've made a point. I glorify thee yeah. on earth, yeah. having accomplished the work which thou gavest me to do. Yeah. Go on, next and now, Father, glorify thou me in thy own presence with the glory which I had with thee before the world has was made. Now, what's going on there? Yes. 
what's going on there. In that verse, Jesus yeah, is saying that he existed with God, God before the world, the world was created. created. If that's the case, this doesn't fit the narrative of Jesus just being a simple prophet. Hang on, he doesn't. It's not saying that. It's no, saying that's it's another it is. This is where another interpretation. This is where comprehension. There's another no, understanding. No, no, no. Okay, what? what give he me your doesn't say that I was present. In before what the world was. What does he say? What does he say? Say? the glory which I had with thee before the world was okay. made. Yes. What does that okay. mean? Okay. The glory I had with thee no. before the world yeah. was made. What does that because mean? In the knowledge the of God, yeah. in the knowledge of God, yeah. everybody exists. You see so how you're Jesus, interpreting Jesus, that? That's so this is another way. This is another way. That but is not the word I tell you why. If you mean this glory which Jesus had, mm. Only God can have that glory. That's what you're trying to say? No, I'm saying that Jesus is clearly saying that I existed with you. No, he said that. He said, I was with you before the foundation of the world. How could Jesus be with God? God we're talking about the eternal God here now. Before the In universe. In the knowledge of God, everybody exists. But he doesn't say that. No, okay, no. let's this, read the verse and again. That's, no, no, oh, that's... Somebody has started that was a big part. And no, does scripture say that in the knowledge of God? Okay, this is a, this is so let's read this again, what yeah. this brother, this uh, Muslim so thank brother said. Yeah. Thank you for your time. Yeah. Yeah. And this is uh, John chapter 17, verse yeah. 3. And this is the life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom he has sent. And I have glorified thee on the earth, and I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. And now, O Father, glorify thou me with thine own self with the glory I had with thee before the world was. Now stop. Now, is he not, am I, now correct me if I'm wrong. Without, see, this is my, see, I, because I don't think I need to say too much about yeah, that. I, but I let me just say this. Is Jesus not saying that he was with God before time, before the world, the universe was created? Is that not what okay. that's saying? That and and if we go into the next okay, verse, let's say, no, 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 let's no, say one more verse okay, yeah, yeah, so that, yeah, sure, to give sure. you more insight. Yeah. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. Now this is fulfilling prophecy, knowing that the new covenant has come into play and everything has come into existence. So one of the important things about reading the Bible is the context of the verses before and after, and after. to Very get important. an understanding. You can't use it like a dictionary, yes. as Brother Hudson has said. And I can understand this gentleman from it, uh, this brother here, mm. because he has not fully read the Bible, because he has his own scriptures to follow. But he has seen something that he doesn't understand. And they, by can looking at things... Okay, let's say let me not for the sake of argument. Yeah. Let's say for the sake of argument. Mm. According to verse 5, mm. it says Jesus was before the world was. Mm. Except that, for the sake of argument, Jesus was present there. If, if but that does not negate what verse 3 says there. Verse 3 clearly says the only true God is not Jesus, that God. What I'm read, I read that again. And this is the eternal life, that they know thee, the only true God. And he's talking to about the Father. Okay. Is he not talking about the Father here? Yes, he is. Yeah. But then, because he said, well, let me make my point. Mm -hmm. Let's say for the sake of argument, as you say, Jesus was, with the, before the world was, Continue. but he was not truly God. Because the verse 3 says, the only true God is Father. And so, we know there's only one right. God. Hudson, can I say one thing yeah, before sure. you I, complete this? Let prayer? me just say, one, no, no, the Lord's because Prayer I'll is not, you know, the Lord's prayer is not, uh, not specific yeah. now. Now, this gentleman okay. said, and this is the problem with Islam, is understanding who Jesus actually is. Mm. Now from we know, yes, so from, you have to hey, read brother. the Bible in context, oh, and the reality is, is that Jesus is the Word of God. Mm. And this is why I give to Hudson to explain and complete the narrative yes. so that this yes. uh, Muslim brother understands yes. why right. he is wrong in his yes. interpretation, yes. and why you need to have a better understanding. Yes. And actually, the Bible says that you can only understand it if you're filled with the Spirit of the Lord mm. to direct you and guide you to understand it, what the scripture entails. And the Word of God became flesh. And yes, you will explain yes. this. Yes, uh, again, I have yes. to go back to it because I'm well, what I'm saying is you have to take the whole of scripture. Of course. So, for yes. example, that's very interesting that you do that. So, let's deal with that first. Let's put how if we put verse 3 and verse 5 together, they have to work together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Fair but enough. not only do those two verses have to work together, the whole of scripture has to work together. Yes. So, again, I can go back to yeah. So, again, yeah. I can go back. What I'm saying tops it all is context, is you have to deal with the start of the chapter. John makes it clear from the get go. 
in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. So I'm saying in that context is how you have to deal with everything else. And the word I, I want to be flesh. clear. I'm not, can I, 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 can I be, question you about John 1? Yeah, yeah, just let me make it. Okay, <laughs> you bring it on. Okay, yeah, just let me make a point first. I'm saying that um, you have to do it in the context of that, and then you bring all the scriptures. Yeah, but together. that doesn't help but, you. But John 1 1 does. does. Old it Testament. does. It actually explains. I'll tell you why it doesn't help you. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong here. When it says, in the beginning was the word, who, who is talking about here? Jesus? John 1 1, isn't it? Well, let's in, in the beginning earthly. was the word. Yeah. Word meaning Jesus. Yes or no? Yes. Okay, well, I'm we, telling you my yeah, understanding. We can establish in the beginning that, was the word, Jesus. meaning yeah. word meaning Jesus. We can, and yeah, and we the word have... was with God. It doesn't say a word was with God. Yeah, go yeah, brother, go I'm going to do it in my own pace. Okay. And the word was with God. It doesn't say a word was with Father. It said word was with God. And if you read the Bible, the We're God, God, God the brother, world. brother, God, God meaning Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. They are together, three together make God. Yes or no? no. Well, what is the, okay. Father, Son, and oh, so the Father, Father Son, Son, and the Holy Spirit is not okay, God. So what no, is no, the no, Son? So you don't, so you don't believe in the Triune God? This is where he gets okay, okay, let me okay. let me finish my point. Okay. Here. Yeah. To me, that verse doesn't make sense because if in the beginning was God, the Word, which is Jesus, and the Jesus was with Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And the father, what now you're this, 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 is, this, this is how it is, brother. In the beginning, was in the, the okay. father. Okay. In the beginning, in the beginning, okay. where's the Holy Spirit so here? Then? Where's the Holy Spirit no, here? Then? You see what you're doing? Can I respond? Yes. Yes. Thank you. You see what you're doing? He's yeah. given yeah. a perfect yeah. example yeah. of what yeah. we're talking yeah. about yeah. earlier yeah. on. Yeah, first of all, you're out of context, but also you're trying not to deal with the verse. Okay, refute me, bro. Okay, right. Okay, you're trying not to hold the verse as it goes You're trying not to deal with the verse by inserting stuff into it. Since before Abraham was, I am. Because when you say I am, this how you understand I am? You're trying to do talk about Trinity. You're certainly trying to bring the Trinity yes, into the You're changing but, the conversation. We're not talking about the Trinity. We're, we're, no, but we're you talking bring, about you bring John 1 1. So no, I'm only, okay, right. I'm only uh, questioning. No, that's you, fine. you brought it. No, I understand. That's, 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 that's fine. I have to go to the Old Testament. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Lamin, have some guts and debate me properly. There's three of you against one. Two of you. Look, I debated you. We've debated, you know. This name is John 1 1. more than me. I can bring him John 1 1. No, no, no. John 1 1. I can bring him here. Okay. I'll pay you to debate with me. Debate me properly. No, I don't want you to go. Debate Stop being a chicken. This is, this is stop, John being, one, one. stop being a chicken. John, John 1, 1, John 14. That's okay. all you can yeah. go for the Bible. Okay. okay. Yeah. Both of them are reading the Bible. Again. They have read their Bible. Let me read the scripture again. They have read their Bible. In the beginning, what's the word? You're a coward, man. I ain't got time for you. And the word was yeah. with God. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Can I just make my statement? Can we make my statement? Can I make my See, this is what I mean. Can I just say this? This is what I mean by Speaker's Corner. This is the Dawah team. This is the behavior of them. While they're here, let me expose them. This is what they do. Oh, we're, trying to, we're, we're trying to have a serious conversation. You want me to go rough? Listen, can I just we're trying to have a serious conversation and you're interrupting. Mohammed Lamin, Mr. Mohammed Lamin, does not have the guts to debate me properly. He's incapable of having a proper debate. Only he's, Hollywood theatrics. He's incapable of answering questions. But, but this is what he's good at. Yeah. This, this is what he's good at. And interfering. This is what he's good at. No, no, go on, go on, go on. Go on, go on, go on. Go on, go on. Go on, go on. Go on. This is what he's good at. Interfering. I'm telling you, Obama, debate me properly. Can you answer my queries? Mr. debate me properly. So you two. Debate me. Stop being a coward and peeping around the corner. Stop being a coward and peeping around the corner. I expose you big time on YouTube. Go on, watch the videos. You can expose. I, I, as you say, you need to videos. understand the whole scripture, read yeah. the whole scripture to yeah. understand who Jesus yeah. was. Yeah. Yeah. So when Two we read the scripture problem. further, I'm going to put yeah, another no, no, one, 2 no, Corinthians. No, but wait, we no. haven't finished the first no, topic. I've got many examples. And now this is yeah. another yeah. Jesus can Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Can yeah. I say one thing? Yeah, this is yeah. a This is, this is getting, this is proving our point. This is out of This is proving our point. We started off here to try and talk about the tactics of the Dawa team. And it's proven itself. Now they have come without knowing what our video was about. I ask for permission. I ask for permission. No, no, no. we have allowed you. I understand that. But you have not allowed us to address. I have to help my Hold on. I respect that. Can I just I say that. one thing? So you're scared. He's, scared. Rally, he's yeah. panicking. That's why. Yeah. Can I say yeah. one thing? They're not going to call Paul. This brother has everything. come here and I he's asked us point. about John. That's right. I understand his interpretation and yeah. what he has confusion. So now we will respond to this John and it's very simple. In the beginning was the Word and the Word was with God and the Word was God. The same was in the <laughs> beginning with God. All things were made by him and without him was not anything made. In him was life and that life was the light of men. And the light shineth in the darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. Now this is chapter 1, verse 1 to 5. But we have to go to verse 14. And the word 
made, was made flesh yes. and dwelt among us and beheld his glory and the glory as that of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace. Can I stop you so that, yes, yes, go on. That's Jesus. So he has now yes. quoted part of the Bible, but without reading all the context, and we have understood that this is where the reference of what the Word of God yes. is, which is Jesus, because and Jesus is manifest yes. in the flesh. Yes, go thank on, you. Lord. Because the Word was made flesh. So what I'm saying is, <laughs> but what I'm saying, the bigger picture of what I'm saying is, once you get past St. John 1.1, 1, 1, you can't ignore the fact that the author, so you're trying to use the same author, you're trying to actually get the author to contradict himself. Because if the author starts off saying that in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and then you try to go later on into later chapters and say John to be saying something else, and so that's you John trying to get the author to contradict himself. But you can't be contradicting himself. Look, let's look at it practically. If I wrote a letter, let's look at a practical situation. If I wrote a letter saying, my name's Hudson, yeah, and I live in Cuban, would I, by the end um, of that later, end up saying I live Bob's in New York and not realize? Let's look at it practically. This is a letter. And, 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 and if you do, and if you do, that's contradiction. If you do, then it's contradiction. Well, yes. So this is what exactly the Bible does. Could I possibly do that? It says one thing at one time, and no. later on it says something No, different. but again, I'm trying to say to you, so let's go to St. John 13. Let's go to St. John 17 again. If he started off by saying, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, when we get to 17.3, and he's saying at 17.3, he cannot be saying in verse 3, he cannot be trying to say in verse 3 and 5, that Jesus is the opposite to what he said in St. John 1 1. Why not? He cannot be saying because, because, he, because, yes. right, human error. Because, because, right, because he was not because inspired. John 1 1 is the word of, God. 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 The word of man. You, 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 man. Need yeah, you need no. to read this. Did, no, no, hold on. Let's there, stop. Did you hear what he said? He said John could be doing that because he was not inspired. Okay, so how do we How do we clarify, brother? Yeah. Brother Hudson, we'll clarify 17 3 so that the audience can make their own decision. Yes, that's what Because anyone with intellect will read and research. So what does 17 3 see? And this is a life eternal that they might know thee, the only true God and Jesus Christ in whom he sent. And he said that Jesus is not God. I have glorified thee on earth. I have finished the work which thou hast given me to do. And now, O Father, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with, with thee before the world and was. And we'll leave that there and yes. say, let's let the And then we can decide. go back to the chapter let the one beginning. That. Yes, yes. without the words. Yes. So let it's very right. self let the audience decide. This is not something yeah. that yeah. needs yeah. major yeah. comprehension. Yeah. Yeah. It is an yeah. obvious yeah. fact that can Jesus can is the word of God that manifested in the flesh. Can I make another point? Yeah, sure. What I'm saying, <laughs> as you say, read the whole Bible yeah. or New Testament to understand what it's saying. Yes. And I, in agree, context, I agree with that. Yes. And understand who, what so Word of God we, we, means. We, yeah. we read again and again the writings of Paul, writings of James, and they, they are separating God with Jesus, who is Lord. Yes? Kyrios. When Corinthians, we read 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 3, <coughs> it says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of of mercies and God of all comfort. Here is he clearly distinguishing God and the Father wait, from wait, Lord wait, wait, Jesus. Wait, wait. Yeah. So now let's no, no, see no, how no, no. where he's got this God. verse okay. accurate. Yeah. Blessed let's be check the God. The yeah, sure. Read it again. God, Second Corinthians. Blessed what? be the God and Father of our Lord right. Jesus Christ. Right. So if Jesus okay. is God, right. why he's saying God and Father? Of our Lord. Okay, Jesus can I answer Christ. that? Yes. Can yes. I answer? Yes. Because what he and this is not one yeah. occasion. No, that's fine. That's Paul says many fine. times. No. James says many times. That's fine. Again. Because he's doing that. It's what you call the, yeah, and what you call the definite article rule. I don't know if you know about the definite article rule. Like if you use the word there, because the word there, you know the word there is a definite article. Are you aware of that? Yeah. The definite article. So when it says the God, for example, yeah. like if it says the God of our Lord Jesus Christ and Father, the, yeah, but the is a definite article. The word the. Like, it, let me give you an example. If I yes. said that um, Jacob is, I went to meet Jacob, yeah, Jacob, yeah, who yeah. is a, who is manager and um, owner of a cafe, yeah. Two things can be happening. I could be saying that he can be both the owner and the manager, or I could actually be saying that I'm meeting two people because of the word the, the definite article. Because I, I'm going to meet the manager and the owner. Is that two people I'm going to meet? One who is the manager and one who is the owner? Or is the same person both manager and owner? Because of the word the. This is very important. Because it's a definite article. Because it's only used once, it's important. The word the is only used once. So the the refers to Jacob. I'm going to meet the manager and owner. If I said the manager and the owner, you could maybe, 
that, that's open to say it might be two people. See, what I'm saying is when you use oh. the word the definite article twice, if the word but, T-H-E is in a sentence twice, yeah, he doesn't know this. And this is why comprehension no, 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 no. is very it's important. 1 Timothy 2.5, oh, no, read it. Let's be clear. 1 Timothy 2.5. This is okay. the yes. problem with the illiteracy that yes. we that's see in Islam, Islam. Yeah. that yeah. people do not yes. understand yes. English yes. language, yes. basic yes. comprehension. It's and this is why when you read the King James Version, it's Old English. It is much more confusing to that that is not scholared in ancient language. And this is why, sorry, No, no, it's fine. Just very quickly. And brother say 1 Timothy 2.5. No, no, I'm going to let him get back in. I just want to finish the point. It's important. You have to look into it at another time. And then you come back to me. Yes. See, we can't, we can't, see, if you give me something that I've not heard before, I can't dismiss it because I've not heard it. This is what ignorance does. Because I used this before when I was debating Lamin, and I saw some comments, the comments saying that Hudson made up something on the spot. You don't know something. You can't say I made it up. You've got to go and look into it. The definite article is very important. You don't know it. You have to be humble. T-H-E. T-H-E. The word is important. Because it was only used so once when you referring to the like man and the owner, Prima yeah, Donna, yeah. it can be two people. <laughs> why it has to be so complicated? No, this is not complicated. It's not English. Why do you have to go so many areas? Well, read first about this. I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example of why the Quran fares no better, but I don't want to prove the point. Yes. But I don't want to... The Quran what? Doesn't fare any better with confusion. But I don't want to lose the point. All I'm simply saying is... the Bible says God is not the writer of confusion. No, you ask me a specific question. What's going on? But you are going on that the... No, because it's important. No, no. No, I'm not. explaining it from a comprehensive. No, 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 because you don't understand what I'm saying, so yes. it might be confusing you. But it doesn't mean I'm wrong. Because you asked me a question about a verse, and I'm giving yeah. you an answer. Because it might be too confusing for you, that means, doesn't mean you can ignore it. <laughs> because that means you're going to ignore my answer and carry on with thinking, in, 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 in going down the wrong path and thinking you're right. You have to look the into God this. God and Father of our Lord Jesus. Yes. Jesus and, is neither and, God, no, it's neither not saying Father. That. It's not saying that. No, it's not it's saying, not that. saying that. that. You're no, saying no, that. So you mean just the Father? Shall I read that again? And if you no, read no, verse 2, I can read it for you. Ten minutes Ten minutes now. First peace from God our Father. And for the them. Lord Jesus Christ. See, the one. The. So the the is referring to God and it's referring to Jesus. Yes. One person. Blessed so it be that God. Jesus okay, 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 wait, okay, wait, hold on. Can I make a point here? Can I make a point here? This is why you have brother, to read brother. the verse. Yeah. Yeah. Let, me just, let me just finish this. Blessed be God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and God and the God of all comfort. Now you have to read the two verses and understand what the titling is. The Bible is very specific. If you're confused about whether we have one God or not. Mm. The Bible clearly instructs that we believe in one God. This is not even an argument of the Bible. This is things that theologians from the Islamic world are confused yes. with understanding. No, no, no. You're that, 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 that God, no, you that, that God, that God, that God, listen, listen, that, that God, that God, you tell me that God, Jesus God, God. You see, he's the dawah. Okay, okay, don't listen to me. This is all they do. No, 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 listen. He's scared of me now. He's scared. This is how they operate. You know why he's scared? He won't have a direct question. He won't have a direct question. Can something come from nothing? You know no, what? I'm not going to deal with you that. Know that. You, know you know what? You know what? We have been totally attentive with yeah. this conversation. You know what? I'm not going to deal with that. You know what? what? See, why don't okay, we okay. Why don't we invite to, why don't we invite like to deal with what first we're dealing with? Listen, listen. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, but why don't we invite like to deal? This is what we're okay. I'm a Muslim. Me and my friend were This is what our video was about. Why don't we invite to deal with where we are? Why do you always come with a foreign? Okay, sorry. That's fine. Yeah. No, look. Why? You know why you're deceptive? Because listen. No, no, no. He's not talking to you because he's scared. Because he knows. I don't want to talk to you. No, 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 no. One point at a time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, that's right. One point at a time. That's what we try to do. But this guy's not civil. I don't know. Okay, wait a minute. Yeah, he's not civil. He's a coward. Yeah, okay. Okay, we have to calm this down. Now, this whole conversation has gone. I want to make it clear. This is what the Dawah team does. And well done to you, Muslim brothers, for proving what we said at the beginning of the video. About what the tactics will be employed. No, I'm not going to show start the script. It's so too late, my friend. They've disrupted it already. They've disrupted for that. It's gone we well started beyond. Off about how because because we're going to fight it. 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 You have proved our point. You really need to watch this video to understand what we're trying to make. One minute, my friend. This guy. My friend, please. Well done, my friend. He's a coward. Let me hear what he's got to say and then you say your point. No, he's saying my point. No, he's incapable. He's not listening. 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 He's not listening.
Okay, hold this. Let's go. My point. Right, thank you. Okay. Okay. Can something come from nothing? No, we're changing the subject. We're not going to change the subject. What subject? Right, the subject is going well beyond the last right. What subject? No, let him talk. What subject? No, we were actually. Hold on, hold on, no, 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 don't, don't hijack up. This debate was between me and Hudson explaining certain aspects. No, 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 you claimed us of being. No, 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 you guys are coming to a debate that you have no idea what the topic was about. Okay, so I, I want to make it. And now okay. you have actually I, I revealed the topic yeah. of our debate. I, I want to make it very so clear that our okay. point. Yeah, I want to make it very clear that our point is being proved. Okay. Not you. I've never seen you guys before. Okay. This is the sort of be clear. Okay. Not these two guys. No. Never, but these guys. Not this guy either. No, but this guy. No, 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 you got listen. You got to listen. Don't talk about gin. You got to get a gin out of you. You got to get a gin. You got to get a gin out of you. You're on one one now. You're on one one. You're on one one. No, that's not. I'm not going to deal with that. Let's do that. Because because we have that conversation. Right. What I want to speak about is the tactics. Right. 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 Hold on. Yes. Let's just call. Yeah, let's just calm this down. This equation. When we first started this topic of discussion, we we're talking about how Dawa teams and evangelists we come across with our scriptures, and we talked about using the scripture yeah. as a dictionary yes. against reading it in context. Yes. Now this brother came here, very polite man, and I yeah. really appreciate. Yes. And he attempted to ask us questions that needed an interpretation, yes. and we asked him to read the verses. Some of them were misunderstood and misconstrued. So we read the verses again to try and get an understanding and to give a be bigger implication. Since we, being Christian evangelists, have a better understanding, we explain certain terminology like the Word of God and try to give him. He has not been convinced by the argument, but fair enough. He asked more arguments and more questions, which we try to give an interpretation. And he also got an under understanding what we have to deal with old English comprehension mm. and word uh, verbatim. Mm. Now, Hudson has also, Lamin, I can understand. Lamin's a debater. And Lamin, you're a professional debater. Look, look. We're no, not no, here. No, 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 Oh, yeah, 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 can I give you one? That was a yeah, thank you very much. Yeah. That's what I asked for. Right, this guy is asking an intelligent yeah. question. What's your name? My name's Hudson. I gotta go, yes, I gotta go. Okay, Mami, right, Mami. I'll see you guys next week. Yeah, sure. Thank you very much. Yeah, we'll give you a question. Yeah, yeah, no, bring your question. Yeah, we'll think out of it. See, I'll be better with both of them. If I go there for half an hour, yes, for half an hour. If I go there for half an hour, thank you. See, how's that funny? The tactics, right, funny. Our whole subject. Because we're not doing a debate. We're actually having a monologue. He's mentioning something quite important right now. Um, what are you right. about the tactics? I'm mentioning that there are certain tactics that are used here in Speaker's Corner yes. against Christians all the time. And my point is, before I go on, let me say my point has been proved very well yes. with this guy. <laughs> and if you watch yeah. this video yeah. from the beginning, so, you will so, understand yeah. what we and, said. And to be more specific about that, I said that Muslims come down here with an agenda having read certain kinds of material. And this material and, and, and the main is the one Ahmadidat is Ahmadidat. And you've got other guys now like the Zakir Knight. But the main one is Ahmadidat. And I, and I gave some examples about your ego is bigger so than I your reality. This debate is too, too, too high for understanding. Everyone's got no. their sources no. and their no, 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 understanding. Hold on, let's get down to ground. Oh, no, I was saying, what you need to understand. I want to get down to ground basis. Okay. Okay. So we all get a okay. clear okay. understanding. Let's give you a clear understanding. I'll use it in basic English. In basic English. The ground basis of society today. What's going on? In, what, in, in, in regard to what? In general living 
standards in everything that's going on in the world. This is what okay. I want to understand. Okay, okay, okay. So don't bring no artifacts and manuscripts Hard and but yeah, but then, stuff but that barely no one understands you on your own. No, but we're not you talking, about, we're not talking about history. We're not talking about history. We want to talk about today. What's going on in today's world? Okay. This is what I've got. Hold on. This like, is history. No, we, no, we want to talk about yeah, today's world. Can I just step in? This brother, you've asked about what's going on. But however, we've been filming something totally different to what the topic you're generally trying to discuss. What we were talking today, and I will explain this, this is not a general debate. What's going on today? What's going on today? Can I respond to you? Is that what you want to understand? What's happening today is history. Do you know what history is? What's happening today? But you told us that it has an effect on today. Right. No, no, no. I also understand that. No, this is history. What's going on now? No, 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 present, my friend, I've, I've, I've studied history, history is not the past, history is the past, present, future, that's, that's all the bunch of stuff, my friend, history is not just the past, that's what you've been told, history is past, present, future, history is not just 1940, so what, what's happening today with the problems Okay, I'll tell you what, alright, should we tell you what's happening? Do you think we're going to solve them? Violence, drugs, do you think we're going to solve them? Do you think we're going to solve them? Massive epidemics all over the world. And you want to talk about shit that happened this. when you weren't born? You we're you're a madman. You think, right, can you, okay, you're a madman. Right, I'm done with you now. Yeah? You as well. Okay. So okay. Let's okay. Talk about today. All right. right. Let me talk about today. Right. Number one, we were having a discussion yeah. talking about evangelism and yeah. dawah and evangelism understanding the scope. Dawah, okay. Now you talk about the problems of today. Right. Those problems yeah. are societal yeah. problems. So They're caused so by you, the breakdown of the family. Not at the moment. Our discussion is nothing to do with this rhetoric. Are you okay? Of course, I'm a Muslim. So, so okay, right, right, okay. Family, so, right. so, so, Islam not important to you, which is to do with the past. What happened to a, what happened to a guy called Muhammad 1400 years ago? That's not important. No, no, no. Is that not important? Yeah, yeah. Let me hear what you've got to say. Now, I can understand you gentlemen want us to give you answers. You're proving our point. The science that you're proving our point. No, I want to say this. You're proving our point. I'm asking you questions of what's going on today. You're you're proving our point. Please, sir, right. can you answer? So now I will answer point. your Please, question. Yeah. It might not be to your satisfaction, okay. but the events of this world are beyond my control or the, I, I, that I, of the government. I so we can't that. give you answers. Yeah. But what we do give answers to is understanding evangelism and dawah. Now there's a time that we have to cut short yeah. and diffuse a situation that is beyond point. logic yeah. and rhetoric. You're proving my now, point. Now what this you gentlemen have not understood and this is because you did not come at the beginning of the debate. But you have just proved the analogy of what we started this video of, about the distractions of what the message we're trying to get across. So by you now changing the conversation... Can I give an opinion? Yeah, can I? Can I give an opinion? Can I give an opinion? And then I'll give it back to you. If you are actually intruding on our debate, that's what I'll just give an opinion. Okay, go ahead. Come back and give me what you think of my opinion. That's a simple way of giving your opinion. Destruction no, comes from police ideology. Destruction, mayhem, show me a, Muslim a lot of problems in the world come from obviously ideologies. Yes. That means ideologies that have believed in more than one god. Wait, in more than one god, or they worship idols. Let me finish. Let me finish. I would like to. I would like to finish. Look, I would like to finish, and I'll explain to you why polyistic ideologies. Yeah, please, please, and then you can give me your point. I've come nice and no, no. Go ahead, go ahead, go right. ahead. So polyistic ideologies are ideologies such as the ancient Egyptians. They had a polyistic ideology. They believed in many gods. They had the god controlling weather. They had the gods controlling the landscape. They had the gods that controlled sheer existence. Each ideology had their time frame. The first was the ancient Egyptians. The second ideology, wait a minute, let me let me finish my point, brother, and then they can say their point. The second ideology was what? It was the Roman ideology. It was the ancient times of the Greeks. They were the ones that controlled the polyism in that time. The belief of many ideologies with many god godly beliefs. They don't believe in one thing. The one rule system of one god creating all. Okay, so they believe when, that there's when other I, powers when will I step in control. In? When will wait, I step can in? I, I'll give you. I'll, let me finish my point about the three ideologies well, you know, and the three wait, times. Can I just, uh, the can three I just ideologies say, and the three times. The third one is the Persians. The Persians, they controlled the world in the time of 
the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. They were the ones that were giving the paganic ideology of worshiping God through pagan stones and statues. They went to the Arabs. They went as far as close to the, close to the edge stones. of the Middle East. I like what the brother said. The sc- and if you go to the Hadith, he doesn't want to let me finish. We used, to, be, I just we used to worship stones. This is what they, their own Hadith narrative. So he's talking about paganism. Wait, and now I've brought to Why have you cut me, man? Because you've come into I'm, I'm our gonna, discussion. No, I'm going to finish. I'm, I'm going to finish and then I'm going to hand it we back were to you. Already doing I'm going to finish. You've I been the one about the three understandings. You've been intruding on I haven't debate. finished about the three understandings. The ones that lead. Do you want to talk about history? Listen, listen, listen. What's happening? I'm going to tell you the money. Even if someone's elaborating around, you must get to his point of view eventually when he comes. Yeah. Okay, you can jump okay, in finish me. Because right. I'm going to conclude and I'm going about, away. I was talking about the Persian talk Empire. Talk to the camera. I'm not involved. Alright, listen. Alright, listen. So what do you do with it? One what do minute. Do with Brother, thank you very much, Soko Films, for giving us a chance. And now these guys have yeah. proved the point we were making no, 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 that we cannot no, no, use no, no, no. our intellectual right, okay. arguments. Right. I want to wrap this up. We will, I want to wrap this up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Going I want to make quite clear that the evidence, the evidence, no, the evidence is on this video. That's yes. what I want to make it clear. Don't block like me. Yeah? No. My friend, you're very rude, you know, I've got no, to say. No. You are very rude. Very sorry. No, you, me. No, you you this is yeah, why we right. didn't want no. interruption. We no, wanted to right. do a brief yeah. video. But no. this has gone more. Yeah. We're supposed to do this yeah. in about 15 minutes. Yeah, I know. And we've been probably spending an hour and we've had some some off tangent conversation. So but now we're. Be, no, be Brother Hudson. Brother Hudson. Brother Hudson, Listen, we're going to prevail. I will try. I said to you from the start, I will allow you to come in, but let us flesh out what we're saying first. And then if you have any objections, you have to hear me first, no. and then you can give your objections. But you started off disagreeing with us before we said anything. No, I didn't disagree. You did. Brother you Hudson, you, bro. now, Forgive this is me, what yeah. we were mentioning. I, I, I about, always, I always allow the Holy Spirit Okay, to Speaker's <laughs> Corner can get a bit out of hand, and I... I like I to be a reserved gentleman, but sometimes you need to yeah, pull yeah. yourself out of the circle. <laughs> but I want to say, but that was our whole point, wasn't yes. it? Not to talk about tactics. Not to but talk yet about tactics. But we didn't tactics. need to. We saw the tactics. tactics. These are Where the tactics people, of the Muslims. Yes. We saw them. They're breaking your conversation. But you know why? But let, let me say why this happened, though. Yes. The, the reason why Muslims had to operate this way is because if you act like a clown, yeah, and you act intelligent and like a moron, you don't have to answer intelligent questions. Yes. It's not an accident. Yes. It's deliberate. It's a because deliberate. If, if we have a serious discussion and I ask you something that you can't answer, you're going to be exposed. Yes. Whereas if you just laugh it off, it would look like, you know what I mean? This one. And Muslims don't have any answers. They don't have any answers for what they're claiming. So if, if I put an intelligent question to you in a civilized debate and you can't answer it, it's going to be exposed. Right. So I want to make clear, our point was... Talking about no, no, the 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 topic. Yeah. yeah, but we're not talking about these the three ideologies. We're talking about... Because these are the Times we were right. Let's come to the. Yeah, the, yeah. Um, we, to the, yeah we were were, a, this is the history that has taken yeah. it back to we the day. We were having a monologue. We were having a monologue. Yeah. And we were talking about, about the spirit of the Dawah and team the and the uh, devilish the behavior the of the Dawah team, team. And it showed itself. So anybody that watching this video, this it showed it. And then what they're going to do as because well, they're going to say that Hudson got aggressive and Hudson was rude. Yeah, yeah. But what but they're not going to do yeah. is going to show what, how the and the reason why, and the, and the re- No, I don't. Thank you. I don't. Yeah. This is because one, I've got a right to not want to. Yeah. Can you not understand yeah. that? I don't want to hear it. Yeah. Is that not fair? We, we have another right. topic. Right. A totally so different it doesn't topic. matter. My friend, I don't care what you think about me. But why don't they want to speak about the understanding? I've got the right to not want to talk to you. That's what I want to hear. I want to tell them. And three, this is a professional. The three, that's right. These the are the three guys under the payroll of the mosque. No, so, so I have come here for so my own, own sources. Yes. I know no one here. Wait, 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 I am on my yeah, own here. Wait. Yeah. So can wait. you imagine what would happen Let if we got Sharia law? Could you can you imagine what would happen if we had Sharia law in this country? Yeah, but you have to behave right. We're going on the subject. You want to know? You want to be? You want to? They want to be? They're trying to. They're actually trying to. Look at you. Shall we look at you? Thank you. Look, look at you. you. Me. How exclusive you are. You want to show you a law. These are Muslims. Yeah. 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 These are Muslims yeah. that give them half a chance. There will be no more speakers corner. 
If you let the Muslims have their way, there will be no more police order. Why police order? Now, if you notice, there's more noise from the background interference on people that are not actually involved in the conversation. Now, what we wanted to have with this with this conversation was something intellectual that people can look at resources and understand the theology to understand where evangelism and dawah come. But however, what we said when Muhammad was trying to do his dawah is that he said, bring your family, bring our family, bring your animals, bring, and we curse you and curse. Now we've had an example of how this has become off tangent, where people are screaming, interrupting, bringing off tangent conversations to bring us off the message of what we are trying to say. Now, we're hearing words of racism, aggression, monkeys, and other tirades that are not to do with the conversation of the theology of the Bible. Now, we've tried to prove by this conversation that there are tactics that deal with the deen, which is the way of life, which is Islam, that don't deal with what we believe as Christians and representing the evangelical mission of speaking the truth of the gospel or getting the message of the gospel of God. Because the narrative is to stop. The narrative is to prevent us from giving the message of the gospel. And some of the messages that we see and the tactics used by the Dawa teams are like interruption, misquoting of the Bible, aggression, whether passive or physical, um, ad hominem behavior, using labels and slurs, and things to, you know, just totally divert off the message. But unfortunately, we were not actually doing a gospel preach today. We are just trying to give a theology behind this manner. Unfortunately, for the Dawah teams, they have exposed these simple terms. And I see some hinted men, and I would like you to show them. You're not a Christian, brother. You're not a Christian. Any bad behavior done is like that for Muslims. I'd like to listen. That's what I want. That's what I want.